Hi, this is Russ Murray from Delaware Business Incorporators, and in today's video, I want to talk about an all-in-one business management software called Striven from a company called Miles Technologies out of Lumberton, New Jersey. We are currently using this software for our business. And this, this module I wanted to talk about today is called the Project Management Software Module. And let me just flip over real quick over to it. And so here's the actual software. This is software that we use for our business. Now, granted, we don't use project management software because our business isn't um, to have projects per, per se. But um, I did want to do a video on it just to show you how easy it is to use it uh, for that purpose. So you actually have four different things that you can look at in projects. So the first one is the dashboard. And this kind of gives you an overview of everything that's going on with your projects. To start a new project, click on Project and click on Add and then give it a name. So we're going to give this a name Project Management Software Demo Number 4. And the John, I have a fictional company, John Doe Enterprises. Then I'm going to set up in the context going to be John, and I am the project manager. So just give you a really quick overview. You hit the Create button, and you can see how fast the software is. And this is cloud-based, web-based uh, software, Striven ERP. So, um, so to give you an idea, so you can have all your project details go over here. You can uh, set up your tasks. So you can do task number one, task number two, task number three. They all go here. And then if you click on the flag, you can actually add a milestone. So we'll do a milestone one. We'll do this for the middle of the month. And you can make it visible on the customer portal too, which is really nice. So whatever you want to make visible to your customer, you can do it. You don't have to make it visible. Maybe maybe milestone number two, which is going to end in, is going to start um, on 516 and end on 527. Maybe you don't want your customer to know that, so you leave this unchecked. So here's your two milestones. And then you can actually drop and drag your tasks into your milestones. So well, let's see where this task goes here. And I'm not giving them real numbers, they're just... Oh. So you can reorder things, it's just a drop and drag system. So, and there's lots of other features. You can do a label for, this, for the um, project. Uh, here's your calendar. Here's a hub. So you can add documents to the hub, make them visible on the portal. So you just drag and drop. Very easy, very simple. You can also, related to the project, have surveys, quizzes, assessments, and forms for that project. So we have customers have a hub. You as the owner of the company have a company hub. And then you can have a hub for your projects too. Then you have discussion area. So if you wanted to send a discussion to somebody, very easy to do that. What is the status of this task? And then you hit this, and you can do attachments to this conversation. You can uh, put in HTML links. You can label it. So there's lots of different things that you can do with uh, this. And I'm going to erase this because I don't want to send her. She's a real employee here. So we'll get out of that tab and we'll go to final area. And this, then you can associate a sales order with the project too. So you can either create a new order. So let's say you did the project set up first. Then you're going to go and create the order or you can assign an existing order. So projects, um, so you can have a list of milestones. So you can, so this is your search. So in the milestones area, you can search by milestone. And not, the other nice thing too is you can save these searches. So you can give this, I'll, I'll just give it all projects. 
and I'll make this the default and auto load those results. So now every time I go to this area, everything will load. Like I can, I'll set it so that everything comes up. And then so instead of just the two things that are here, it's late and upcoming. So we'll just save those two right now. So the system's fast. And we can actually set up a multi-touch based on the project too. So you can give it the multi-touch for project demo. And then you can determine which um, who's going to get what based on the project. So it gives you lots of flexibility. So there's a found eight projects. And you can have different message types. So some of these types you can unsubscribe from. Some allow the customer to give them no, no subscribe choice. And then with these multi-touch, it's basically an email campaign, uh, email blast, drip, whatever you want to call it. Gives you a lot of flexibility, send automatically. You can set, set them as recurring. You can actually attach a survey and put a subject line in. So anything with a red star is a required field. And then you can do deer, and, you know, and then you can have your merge fields. Contact and put in your information. So uh, once that's done, then it gives you, uh, so now you can have more than one message. So you can have this message. We'll make this recurring based off of this first message, and we'll recur it every five days. So you can put another message in here. So you can see this. So the little swish here means it's a recurring. And you can have these set up to send automatically, and they'll automatically send. The system sends Monday through Friday nine, at 9 a.m. roughly, 1 p.m. and 5 p.m. So every day, Monday through Friday. It does, they don't do any email campaigns on the weekends. So you can have a third message. It's a very powerful system um, for your drip, drip email campaigns. You can do HTML in here. Here's your merge fields. Some of them, sometimes they have custom fields that allow you to. So I did make this one a recurring. So let's go back in and make that recurring. And you can see it's very fast. So once it's a recurring, you can say, okay, set it off of that, and then every 10 days for this message. So it'll be 10 days. Oh. I'll set that as recurring too. Get that little switch in there. So 10 days after this goes out. So now you can see each one has a swish. And you can change the day settings here too. This would probably be set to one day. So one day after you set the project up. You turn these on and it'll off, it will go. So I'm not going to keep that project. And that's multi-touch. And that's pretty much everything in the we don't in the project module. We don't use projects in our business with our business type, but I wanted to do a short video about it. So thanks for listening.